Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got one of the best hauls of the year. Well, this is gonna be half of it. Well, a little bit less than half of it. I, on September 1st, when the Harvest and the Fall catalog launched, I closed out two very large parties. So one of the party orders has arrived. The larger one is still in transit to me. It should be here early next week, but this one I have here and it has just arrived. So I'm excited to show you one of the Harvest warmers some of the wax and a few other things that I picked up as well in this party closeout. So this will be part one of two, um, part two coming next week, but this is a good chunk of my haul for September 1st. So if you're interested in seeing that, stick around and I will uh, take you through it. It is freezing here today. It feels like fall. I have the fireplace going. I have my dog beside me here. Can we see his whole head? No, it's under the coffee table. He likes to rest with his head under the coffee table. It's something he's done since he came home as a puppy. So there is him, there is the fireplace, and we'll just jump in. So yes, all of this, as far as I'm aware, is still available. Um, everything in the catalog will be available through the end of the season. Um, the harvest items will be while well, supplies last. So the first thing I have here is one of the oils. Now the oils kind of go under the radar sometimes, I feel like. I do have our premium diffuser. Um, in my kitchen and I sometimes put water in that and a little bit of oil just to add some humidity to, to the air because it does tend to be a little bit dry where we live especially in the winter so it is cooling off it is starting to dry out a bit so I grabbed the new oil in creamy vanilla and nutmeg so this one I think it just has like nutmeg and vanilla we're gonna find out here I'm gonna sniff it so creamy vanilla and nutmeg it's a tan label it's one of the natural oils and in my diffuser, I usually, it says you can put kind of as much as you want. I usually do about 10 drops in my premium diffuser. So I like a nice bit of scent there. You can use less, whatever you want to do. But, oh, this is nice. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. It is creamy vanilla. There's almost like a gentle hint of citrus here. Not quite like lemon or orange or anything. But there's something bright here. And there's not really an identifiable spice note. It's nice, and I think it's going to pair well with your spicy things. So I can see um, diffusing this while I had like a spicy scent going, and it would be a very good pairing. So I'm excited for that one. Creamy vanilla and nutmeg. There is that. The next thing I got here is a new product in the fall winter catalog. So this will be available all season, and there's two different styles of this. I got Bria the Bunny. There's also a Lenny the Lamb one, which is a white lamb with purple, like, fabric backing. So Bria the Bunny is one of our new Blanky Buddies. So these are kind of a product for little kids. Um, this one is scented with pink cotton. Now, this one I only got because I had extra credits I needed to burn. And so I got this one. So my daughter has... Let me go find him. I'll find Pete. One moment. Okay, so this is Naughty Scentsy product. This is my daughter's, like, favorite stuff she's had since she was an infant. This is Pete. He is just a rabbit head holding a blankie and he's got this like fabric, like satin fabric on the back. He is very well loved. As you can see, the corners are all beat up because my daughter loves him. She sleeps with him every night. This is her favorite stuffy. So meet Pete. Bria the Bunny. I like this because it's a similar format to Pete. So this, oh, this is nice. So it comes in a nice little container, very giftable. Does smell like pink cotton, but not overwhelmingly so. You can definitely smell it, but it's not like too, too strong. But she also has this satin lining and these corners and then the nice fabric on the side. So she's just a little bit bigger than our Pete. She also has these satin lined ears, the bow. She's super soft and super nice. So this is just a nice thing that you could, like for size, it's not huge. Like it's a little bit bigger than my head. It's very lightweight. This is something you could put in a crib with like a baby once they're old enough to have things in their crib um, or a toddler. Once they get to that age where they're starting to really attach to a stuffed animal, this would be a good one to give, I think, because it has that thing that they can kind of just hold and play with. And then it's got the ears as well that they can, as an infant, probably chew on. <laughs> but very very cute so this is pete the well-loved original this is bria the bunny so similar in size this is like a standard carter's lovey so similar in size for comparison 
So we are not giving up Pete. Pete is a diehard fixture in this family. But Bria the Bunny, I thought she might enjoy. So I don't know. She's probably getting a little bit old for this, but it's fun. So very, very cute. And there is the little spot where it's all sewn at the top there and that's finished as well. So really nice. Um, it is washable. I would think that once you do wash it, the scent is going to dissipate. So what does it say for washing instructions? So yeah, it says hand wash when needed, machine wash if necessary. I can tell you right now, you're going to need to machine wash this at some point. Um, especially if your kid's like really attached to it because Pete has been through a lot of stomach flus, a lot of colds, a lot of different messes. Um, Pete's seen some stuff. So Bria the Bunny, if you give this to a baby, will probably see some stuff as well, in which case you will probably want to machine wash it, but it says if you can just hand wash. But I would assume that's because once you machine wash her, these scent beads are probably not going to be as scented anymore. And in these Blanky Buddies, there is no option to replace the scent. It is built into her head here, so there's no zip compartment like the regular Buddies to change out the scent when you want to. So be aware of that when you purchase, but this is very, very well made. Really, really nice, and I think it would be a great baby gift for anyone that you know who is expecting. So there is Bria the Bunny. The next thing I grabbed was some scent circles. Now the scent circles now come in a three pack, and they still come individually wrapped. So they're still in the same packaging as before, but they come as a set of three rather than one. So I grabbed a three pack of Apple Spice Season, and then you can bundle it. So you can get three of one and three of another and save it a little bit. So I got two three packs and I got Sleigh Ride as well. So these ones are for fall and these ones are gonna be for winter for my car. So these are kind of my go-to thing for the car typically. Um, you can also use pods in your car. You can also use scent packs in your car. One of my teamies was saying she likes to put a scent pack on like the front of the dash where like the defroster thing comes up and that works really well apparently. So I have put scent packs under my front seat before, but I bet she's right. I bet putting it on the front dash would be even better because when that air blows up, it's gonna blow through the scent pack and disperse the scent better. So really good idea, just a tip for scent packs if you have any extras and you wanna try them in your car. So Apple Spice Season and Sleigh Ride, I can't sniff these for you without opening them. So these are just gonna be for my car. So really, really good. The other thing I grabbed was the Johnny Appleseed Scentsy Swipes. The Scentsy Swipes were a new product that came out, I think in the spring catalog. And we had, uh, <coughs> and we had them in Squeeze the Day. So I do have squeeze the day swipes. I really, really enjoy them. They're good for just quick little swipes of your countertops after cooking or cleaning up messes or wiping away crumbs or whatever. They're also really good for washing walls. So they are small. You need to use several of them if you're gonna wash like a, a large area of a wall, but they do a very, very good job of cutting that dirt and cutting all the grime that gets built up on your walls. So Sensi Swipes, here they are. Again, they have got the packaging with giant lettering saying do not flush. These are not a personal wipe, these are a cleaning wipe. So there's that. And I, I wish they would make that smaller. <laughs> I really do. Um, oh yeah, these are nice. Yeah, they're very apple-y. They're like a clean, fresh apple scent. Very nice for fall. Um, yeah, so those are good. Scentsy swipes. I do feel like these also will be nice if you happen to have them sitting out for like Christmas time because the colors are kind of holiday-ish almost with the green and the red. Yeah, they're not like a Christmas scent, but they're just apple. Could pass for Christmas better than lemon. So yeah, really nice. Those are good. So I will look forward to those. I have to finish up my lemon ones first, but I will be using these next. Okay, I also have in this box the pumpkin sparkle warmer, but first I also have a six pack of bars. Now these are just a few bars that I grabbed, mostly to replenish my stash of the new release bars because I had warmed through my early access kit. So I grabbed a bar of brown butter pumpkin, which is a new one this season. This one I loved on warm when I first warmed it and I couldn't get it to perform all that well. So I'm hoping with a second bar, I can make it work. This is very, very good. Classic traditional pumpkin spice with a bakery edge. Yeah, really, really good. There is, this is a nice gentle brown sugar butter scent with a very classic pumpkin spice scent. So really, really good. Low spice. I would say there is a little bit of spice, so it's not a completely spice-free pumpkin, but there, it's a lower spice fall option. Brown butter pumpkin. Farm stand pumpkin. I was just out, so I needed another bar. Here is this one. Uh, this one's okay for me. Yeah, it's nice. There's pumpkin, there's apple. There's like a teeny tiny hint of like a suggestion of spice here, but not really spicy at all. 
This is apple caramel pumpkin. Yeah, this is nice. It's a classic middle of the road fall scent. Most people would like this. Um, I also enjoy the scent. I just struggle with performance with this one. I would say smaller spaces. However, I've heard people say that if you age this one for quite some time, it does a lot better. Um, I've never had a bar long enough to age it for long enough. I just melt through them. So farm stand pumpkin, really good. Classic middle of the road fall scent. It's, a, it's very approachable for most people. It's a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of apple, some caramel. That's pretty much it. I think there's hay in the notes, but you don't really smell the hay. That could be what's giving you that little tiny hint of like almost a suggestion of spice. It might not be spice. It might be like dried leaves or dried grass. Yeah, mostly I get pumpkin apple caramel. Really good uh, middle of the road type scent. And I was just out and I like to have a bar of that. The other one I was out of and wished I had had for August because this is an August scent for me. So I will tuck this away for next year. Scarlet Sunflower. Now that is the other thing. Because our fall winter catalog does not launch until September 1st, that means it is now mid-September when I'm receiving my fall bars. So if you like to start melting your fall bars before mid-September, I would strongly recommend making sure that you stock up on your fall scents before the end of the catalog season for next year. So Scarlet Sunflower is one I forgot to grab, so I didn't have it this year when I, like, when I wanted to warm it. So this one is like a warm, gentle floral, a little bit of cranberry. And is there apple here? Oh, my bar broke. I almost never have bars break, but this one broke in transit. Huh. I, I would think there's probably some apple here as well. Like a red apple. Red apple. A little cranberry. And that warm sunflower note. So there is that one, Scarlet Sunflower. And that is one I will tuck away for next year. This one was a hit. I love this one when I warmed my early access bar, so I wanted to get another another one right away. Gingerbread pecan waffles. This one is gingerbread pecan waffles. This is a, a gingerbread pancake type scent with like table syrup and nutty pecans. It's very, very good. This is gonna be good all season long. Right through the winter, right through the holidays and then into the new year, this is gonna be a great one. So gingerbread pecan waffles, thumbs up. Leaves and Lavender. This was my favorite of the 10 new releases this season, so I couldn't wait to get some more. So I have a little bit left of my original bar, but I am have another one in the wings now. This is glorious. This has a, it smells very much like Bath and Body Works leaves. If you're familiar with that scent, this is very close to that. This has softer edges, just a little bit but it does have that kind of apple cider base to it to my nose. And just a very soft, sweet, non-powdery, non-herbal lavender. It's a very middle ground lavender and just a tiny bit in the very back. So leaves and lavender as the name. Leaves, yes. <clears throat> lavender, just barely. If you don't typically like lavender, you're probably gonna be okay. Um, this is gorgeous. And on warm, it goes for quite some time and it smells almost like a herbal tea or like something like that. It's, it's beautiful. So Leaves and Lavender, love that one. And then Hay Rides. This is another one I enjoyed and I wanted an another bar of it. This is a great September, October bar. This one is very similar to our recently departed Golden Garland with more apple. This is very nice. It is a warm... The, there is warmth here. There's also almost, almost a tree scent here. That reads to my nose, just a little bit pine, but not super, super pine, but a little bit pine. And Golden Garland, which this reminds me of, did have pine. There's also, in Golden Garland, there was a marigold note. And in here, I think they're calling it fresh hay. It does read marigold, like a warm, not floral, but a warm vegetal planty type scent. and apple, like definitely quite a lot of apple. It's quite sweet. Um, it has earthiness to it from that hay or that vegetal note. It's earthy and sweet and pretty. Very, very well balanced, quite complex, quite layered. Really, really nice. Perfect for fall, that is hay rides. Okay, now we've got the warmer. So we have pumpkin sparkle and this I got with credit, so it was free. So there is that one. Let's see here. 
This is one that I, it really caught my eye. I didn't plan to buy it because I have so many warmers, I didn't know what to do. So because I could get it for free, I thought I may as well get it and enjoy it. So this one, okay, we have a orange dish. Seems to be a standard size glass dish. It's a little bit um, thinner on the rim than the, the standard glass dish, but very, very cute, light orange. We have the pumpkin topper. I'm gonna take the styrofoam out. It is a silver, like brushed silver topper with this kind of curly Q little stem. Oh, that's that's new. I like that they're doing this now. Okay, the bulb is actually in a little box, which they, they usually don't do. They usually just stuff it inside the warmer. It was stuffed inside the warmer, but it was in the box. So that's actually a great change because once in a while, not very often, but once in a while you do end up with a broken bulb when you receive it. So it looks like they're taking steps to mitigate that. So that's great news. So this one is a 25 watt glass warmer. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Like, are you kidding? Okay, no, like it is so, what is happening there? Oh, it's just like styrofoam. Okay, this is gorgeous. Are we seeing the iridescence? That is so girly. Disco ball, Barbie pumpkin, beautifulness. This would be great in my daughter's room. We might actually end up putting it there. Um, I'll see what she thinks. I think you could put a pink bulb in this and have it be spectacular. In fact, I might go grab a pink bulb when we're done here and um, show you what that looks like because I think this has some good possibilities for multiple, <clears throat> for multiple bulb, bulb colors. It does come with a clear bulb, but I think you could make this much more orange with an orange bulb or much more girly with a pink bulb or a purple bulb. So here it is unlit and I will just put that in, put that on. So there we are, super cute, super cute. Like that is very pretty. Okay, so the glitter, when I was looking at this online, it's kind of hard to tell in pictures what the glitter was. Now it looks like it's almost like a mosaic style glitter. Like this seems to be glass the glitter pieces. This feels like flakes of glass. It's just not grouted. These don't seem to rub off easily. Like I'm not getting glitter all over my hands when I do this. It does have fairly, not sharp edges, but it has kind of like a sandy finish to it. So just be aware of that. And it does have the cord cut out and a white cord. I'm going to plug this in and be right back. Okay, we are here. So I'll put the dish back in and put it back together. Put our lid on. And these lids, by the way, it turns out they're interchangeable. So if you have the fairy tale pumpkin warmer, the um, pumpkin warmer from last, what was it called? The orange pumpkin warmer of the month from last year. If you have that one, if you have the tiger pumpkin warmer with the black lid like this, um, those are all interchangeable. I'm not sure about enchanted pumpkin. Enchanted pumpkin might not be interchangeable, but the other ones, fairy tale pumpkin, the pumpkin warmer of the month from last year, and the tiger pumpkin. And this one, Pumpkin Sparkle, they have interchangeable tops. So if you would prefer to have a black top on this and you happen to own the Tiger Eye Pumpkin, you could do that. So I just happen to have Tiger Eye Pumpkin sitting there beside me. Um, so you can actually change out the toppers if you want to. So be aware of that. So here it is with the topper it comes with and we are gonna plug it in. And it lights up orange, very orange. That is pretty. Like really, really pretty. So there we go. You do still see some iridescence in person. I'm not sure if you can see that around the front. When you're looking at it head on in person, you do see the iridescence still, but it is much more orange toned and less pink. So if you don't want it to be pink, I would not say it's visibly pink to the naked eye in person when it's lit up. When it's unlit, it is most definitely pink. But there we go, really, really pretty. Now I'm gonna go grab a pink bulb so we can see what that looks like, just for fun, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, I've put a pink bulb in here. One thing I wanted to show you is that the inside is orange glass, just like the lid is. So it does look pink on the outside, but the inside glass actually is orange, which is what's creating that orange glow. So we've got a pink bulb in here now, and we're gonna see what this looks like. I actually don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, it is, oh, it's like, it's like a ready pink with the orange on the inside. So we've got a pink bulb. 
it is almost a ready pink to my eye. And I think that's because it is orange inside. It's not like a clear pumpkin warmer. It is orange inside, which is kind of adding warmth to that pink, making it a little bit more red toned. It's not red red. And I think in a dark room, this is going to be definitely pink. But there it is. Very, very cute. So I think this actually will probably go in my daughter's room with a pink bulb. Um, she's going to love this. So there is that one. Or do I want to keep this one out here? I might. I might. I do want to keep all the pumpkin warmers together in my house because I do have a pumpkin patch going on. I have got all kinds of pumpkins in here. So there is this one, Pumpkin Sparkle. And that is part of the Harvest Collection, so it's only available while supplies last. So that is my first part of, well, like, it was actually my second part because it was the second order I placed. But that is my half, about half of my September 1st haul. In my September, other September 1st party haul that's coming here next week, I have got several different warmers, the Whiff Box, more wax, more scent circles, more of a little bit of everything. There's a lot in that one. Um, and <clears throat> also laundry. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming in that one. Um, but this one had the pumpkin sparkle warmer, some bars, the Scentsy Swipes, the Brie the Bunny Blanky Buddy, the scent circles, and the creamy nutmeg or creamy vanilla and nutmeg oil. So that is what I got today. And I would love to know in the comments below whether you picked up any warmers from the Harvest Collection or whether you're planning to or if you picked up any warmers from the catalog, or if not, what are you planning to grab? So yeah, I had grabbed the Pumpkin Sparkle. I also ordered <clears throat> the Harvest Bounty. Harvest Bounty is in the Harvest Collection again this year. It debuted last fall. We had it last fall in the Harvest Collection as well, and I hummed and hawed about it for a while. I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not. I was worried about the wattage. I think it's only an eight watt element, so I wasn't sure if I wanted it. So I waited and waited, but then people started getting it and they were saying it's performing very well. Despite the fact that it's an eight watt element with a lid, it's performing very well, like exceptionally well. So then I was like, okay, I want it. So I went in to order it and it was sold out. So this year I was so glad it came back because I did go ahead and order it this time. Um, and I'm looking forward to putting that in my bedroom. So I have that one coming and a couple other ones and I will show you when they arrive. I also have the Beetlejuice bar coming um, and the holiday early access bars. Those I am very excited to get my hands on. Um, the other thing coming up here soon is the Brick Early Access. So we have five holiday bricks coming out. Those are going to be launching in mid-October, um, but consultants can get those early as a five brick bundle. Um, you have to get them all together. If you're ordering them once they go live, you can order one or in bundles of two. And I think there might be a bundle of five option for that as well. Um, but if you're a consultant ordering an early access, it is just the five bar bundle that you have access to, um, or the five brick bundle that you have access to. So if you are looking to get the bricks and not get the huge bricks, what you can do is again, that is a club option. So if you put those brick scents into your Scentsy Club when they launch in October, you will receive regular sized bars instead of the big bricks. So that is an option to be aware of, but the bricks are kind of fun. They're very giftable. They're kind of a nice novelty item and you get a ton of wax for a good value. So I'm excited to get those and have those under my nose to sniff. I will be ordering those on Monday to review. I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.